Hey, Leo, Team Leo. What's up, my lion and lioness? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the second half of April. So this will be your mid-monthly love check-in. So let's hop in, Leo. Let it be great, of course. Let's see what's coming in for you all in love for the second half of April. Before we hop in, guys, just two quick announcements, Leo. The Goddess Box is almost sold out. That's that beautiful box behind me. If you guys do want more information, do check my website, mytearsatheelmyheart.com, or follow me on Facebook or on IG as Fire Intuition to get more information. Second announcement, the Love, Your, um, the Love Yourself, Heal Your Life webinar will be on Sunday, April the 25th at noon. Alrighty, the link to the webinar will be pinned in the comments below and also in the description box below. Alrighty, guys, let's hop in my Leos. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love. It's going to be great, of course. If I resonate with you, Leo, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. All right, Leos, let's hop in. Let's see what the overall energy is when it comes to your love life for the second half of April. Let's see, what is the overall energy for Leo in love? Leo, what is the overall energy for Leo in love? No friends with benefits. I got that, Leo, but look, someone is like, I'm on the way. <laughs> And you're like, uh, yeah, no, you're not on the way because I don't do friends with benefits, all right? So, Leo, you're cutting someone off. You're just like, no, I don't do friends with benefits. You're not about to, we're not about to be fuck buddies. No, we're not about to Netflix and chill. We're not about to just hang out, you know? So, I don't know, Leo, what's going on with my Leos? Let's see. Y'all know I'm a Leo myself, but, I mean, I'm Leo, this is crazy. It's, I wouldn't say crazy, but, I mean, you know, it's a lot of Leos out there in the collective, so... Um, you know, it's not going to always resonate with me. It's not going to always resonate with the Leo, all the Leos out there. So let's see. We have photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgic, making new memories. Some of you guys are in a new relationship. You're making new memories with someone. Okay. But it's like this person wants to come back and make new memories with you. They're staring at your photo. They're missing you. They're nostalgic. And I feel like this was a, like a friends with benefit situation. Or you cut this person off because they wouldn't commit. And maybe you didn't want friends with benefits. At the bottom, we do have love call and separation. So I feel like you guys are separated from this person. But then I'm getting the mixed energy because I also feel like with love call, it's like it says someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. But I feel like someone else is on your mind. Or you guys are dealing with someone and you're separated from this person and they're trying to reach out. Okay? And they want to hook up with you. I don't feel like they just want to hook up, but I feel like you know that it's only going to be friends with benefits. Okay, so you're like, no, I don't do friends with benefits. You're like, I don't want friends with benefits. All right, Leo, so let's see what's going on. That's the overall energy. All right, Leo, sun, moon, rising, also Venus. All right, Leo, sun, moon, rising, also Venus, second half of April. Let's see what the current energy is around your love life, second half of April. What is the energy around Leo, second half of April? What is the current energy around Leo, second half of April? We have nine of pentacles. So some of you guys are single, abundant, independent, confident, wealthy, successful, looking good, feeling good, eating good. It's the nine of pentacles. At the bottom, we have the eight of swords. And someone is like stuck on you. They're, you are on their mind. And I feel like they're watching you from afar. I feel like they're like, damn, what is Leo up to? What is Leo doing? I'm thinking about Leo. I want to be with Leo. I want to talk to Leo. But you're like, no, I don't do friends with benefits, sir. Or me, I'm sorry. You're like, yep, I don't do it. You can't friends with benefits, my ass. No. All right. So let's see how does your person feel about you, Leo. We have the six of swords. So there is distance. Okay. I feel like the reason why I said distance because there could be a long distance relationship. But there's just distance, okay? The clouds are dark. It's the Six of Swords. I feel like you think it's best that you guys are friends. Or maybe you're like, you know what? I think it's best that we're friends. I feel like it's best we separate. It's something like that you said. You're like, I don't see myself being with you. I don't see myself being in a relationship with you anymore. It's done. I'd rather be single, okay? But I feel like if this is how your person is feeling towards you, then, then, I, then I feel like this is something you said. Or this is what you're telling them, Leah. All right? 
Um, so let's see what's on their mind. We have the hangman. All right, so it could be a Pisces, but with the hangman, it's like this person is trying to gain enlightenment. They're trying to look at things from your perspective, from your point of view, from your perspective. But the fact that you don't want to move forward with them is like what's bothering them because I feel like that's what's on their mind. So it's like this person, they cannot get you off their mind and they see your glow up. Okay, so let's see where is this relationship blocked at or this situation blocked at. See, look, seven of wands. Wow, look, and see how this person has like a love tattoo? You guys can be doing with someone that has a tattooed chest. But this person is in love with you. And it's like they're fighting and they're determined to be with you. They want to be with you. But you want more than this phrase of benefits if that's the overall energy. For some of you guys, they're trying to fight their way out of a situation because there's bars here. I don't feel like it's jail, but I feel like they feel restricted. They feel... Like they're like, it's like someone is determined to get out of a situation or trying to get out of a situation. Situation. Let's see what the advice is. All right, priestess. The advice, Leo, is to follow and trust your intuition. See how she's pulling the curtains back? You're like, yep. You're like, nope, it's clear to me. Closing the curtains, shutting the door, ending the cycle, whatever it may be. You're trusting and following your intuition. And that's beautiful. That's what's best. All right, let's look at the potential outcome. We have the death card. Endings. Endings do bring new beginnings. So this can be a new beginning in love you're going towards. A new beginning in your life. Like you're just like, you know what? It's a new beginning. Because um, there's a butterfly. You're evolving. You're growing. And you're just like, you know what? This is my past now. This is of my past. You're like, I don't, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I moved on. I'm past this. We do have the hermit at the bottom. Could be a Virgo you guys are dealing with. Okay? But if not, you guys are just to yourself. You're like, I'd rather be alone, independent, confident, successful, building, growing, doing my shit than to be with you or being some friends with benefit situation because you just don't feel like they're going to offer you commitment and look, we have the strength card, that's your energy Leo, and you are definitely standing in your strength you're like, nope, I'm not giving in nope, no friends with benefit, nope, you said this nope, so it's like, you're like no you're not doing it you are not doing it, Leo all right, so let's definitely clarify. Let's see what's going on with my views. At the end, I will put some spirit messages and we'll talk about the extended um, towards at the end of the reading, guys. All right, let's see where the hermit is here. The hermit could be you guys just in solitude, going within. All righty. Um, just like to yourself, alone. Not dealing with anybody, not focused, you know, on, um, just focus on yourself, you know, stuff like that to yourself. The Hermit, Seven of Cups, Reverse, yeah, reflecting, gaining clarity, thinking about a lot of things. What have you, what have you learned? What have you gained from that? That's what I'm getting. We have the Empress here. You guys are trying to birth and create new beginnings for yourself. The Empress is pregnant. Some of you guys could be pregnant. But if not, it's like you're birthing and creating a new beginning for yourself, your life. Okay? So let's see how the Nine of Pentacles is here for the energy of the second half of April. For my Leos. The Three of Swords. Some of you guys are coming out of heartbreak, healing. See how the swords are coming out like they're halfway out. So you guys are healing. All right? And you guys also focus on, like I said, your independence, your money, your stability, your success. The star, you guys have a wish coming true. Real wants some of you guys have money coming in like you guys have a lot of money a lot of success in front of you some of you guys are going to get a lot of attention because the star is here someone could have like pink hair or like a blondish color hair or like or just like a really light color hair but it's like the star is there and i love that because it's like you're allowing yourself to heal and come out of heartbreak and as you're doing that you're stepping into abundance and your shits are coming in okay let's get wrong so you are moving forward you are moving forward, Leo. Let's see. Six of Swords is here. But how does this person feel about you? The Six of Cups. Okay, so how the clouds are dark, it's like this person is trying to come out of a dark place with you. It's like things were like probably rocky, shifting, and, you know, maybe it was like hard for you guys to be at peace and move forward, come together. But they're thinking about you. They definitely are. They're reminiscing, they're thinking about the past, nostalgic. Okay, we have the sun here. 
So you are their light. They do love you. The sun is here with the Ace of Cups. There is a lot of love there. Okay? So I feel like this person is like, they still love you. They are thinking about you. They're thinking about the past. They're nostalgic. But it's like they see you kind of like at peace. You know, they see that you're not dealing with them. You're not bothered by them. Like So it's like you're unbothered. All right? Six of Pentacles. Some of you guys just have money on your mind. I'm going to be honest. Like, that's what your mindset is at. Like, you're the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Like, you're, you're, you're focused on your money. And I feel like with the King of Wands reverse, you're not putting energy or taking action towards nothing that's not bringing money, success, that's moving you forward. It's like you're not putting energy into that as a King of Wands in reverse. That's you, Leo. You're like, no, I'm not putting energy into that. All right? So let's see how the hangman is here. Pisces energy, because this is what's on their mind. The Queen of Swords. So what's on their mind is something that you said. You spoke some truth. You were very honest, very blunt, very direct. And you're like, you're not going to keep stressing me the fuck out. Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands. Okay? You're like, I'm fed up. You're not going to stress me out. You're not going to keep doing this. And they're thinking of everything you said or everything that you're saying or everything that you told them. Because you carry the weight. You carry the burdens. You carry the stress. You carry the weight of the relationship. You're like, I'm not doing that anymore. Queen of Cups. You're loving yourself. Self-love is key. Self-love is what you're doing. Giving to yourself. Okay, you're filling up your own damn cup of love. And we have with the devil. And you're like, nope. I'm not. Five of Cups reverse. You're moving on from this energy. It may be hard for some of you guys having the wands. But you're like, no, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going to move on. I'm going to heal. I'm going to release myself from this situation, from this person. All right. So let's see why the seven of wands is here for where the relationship is blocked at. I feel like it's more so them being blocked by someone, with someone, or just like, let's see. Why is the seven of wands here? Yep. For some of you guys, it was a third party situation. Okay. For others of you, the three of cups reverse could be that they weren't making you a main priority. Like, you weren't their main priority. Either they putting other people or other things before you. But for others of you, it was a third-party situation. Yep, see, four of swords. And you kept praying and meditating on this. Okay? And it still remained a third party. And you're like, that's why you're like, I can't do the friends with benefits. Lovers in reverse. So there was a love triangle here for some of you, Leo. And you're like, I'm not doing it. I won't do it. The world card. You put an ending to that. That was your final answer, Ace of Swords. Because you want more and you deserve more. All right? So, Four of Swords, that separation. You guys meditated, thought of, thought about this. Four of Coins. At first, I thought like you guys were holding on for a little bit. Pay the Swords in reverse. Some of you guys blocked them, cut them off. Blocked them on everything. Social media, everything. Blocked their, block their number. Okay? For some of you guys, you could even change your number. All right, so let's see. We have the high priestess here. A lot of Pisces energy. But I feel like that's more so like your intuition. You know, you're looking at the relationship. You're like, I'm not going to repeat relationship patterns. I'm not going to keep going through this. I'm not going to keep putting myself in this cycle. All right, so let's see. We have the high priestess here for the, for the advice. Ten of swords. Yeah. They can't betray you no more. You're like, you're not going to betray or backstab me no more. You're not going to keep leading me on, hurting me, betraying me. Eight of Pentacles reverse because you're not seeing commitment. They're not offering commitment or it's like they're not like making and putting the effort into the relationship. So it's like you don't see that anything is changing. And they're all over there happy with their person laughing and shit in the four wands energy, stealing their commitment, taking their time with the Knight of Pentacles. And you're like, no. So your intuition told you to move on. For some of you guys, it was also affecting your finances with the Eight of Pentacles reverse because you were too focused on this situation. Yep, see, it kind of blocked you from your Ten of Pentacles. It kind of blocked you from, like, you, like, it's like you guys were just, like, working on something or just had some things going on for you, but this was definitely blocking you. So there was some type of financial discipline or there was something that was blocking your finances, your abundance. See, the tower is here. You guys were sitting on a lot of abundance with the Nine of Cups, but they were blocking you emotionally, Leo. This soulmate connection to a cups. All right. So let's see how the death card is here for the um, potential outcome. I definitely feel like the death and the uh, the um, 
the transformation, the change, the ending or whatever is you ending it, Leo. And, you know, um, allowing this change to happen. Yep, see, wow, look. You're stepping into the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys are like, fuck love, get money. You guys are all about your money, your coins, your business, two of wands, headed down a new path. Some of you guys are definitely going towards a lot of success, a lot of abundance, ace of cups, going towards what you love, nine of wands. You got tired, drained, fatigue. You giving up on that. And we have the Queen of Wands. You're putting energy into the things of the people that you love. All right? And that's amazing. That's beautiful. Okay? So, I mean, that does look really good, Leo. That looks really good. Um, let's see what your angels have to say. Spirit first messages for the sign of the Leo. Second half of April. Let's see what your angels have to say, Leo. We have, it's up to you. All right, so it's up to you, Leo. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about this situation? Or what are you going to do moving? How are you going to move forward? It's up to you. Not taking the relationship out of it, it's up to you. What do you want? That Queen of Pentacles is right there. The world card is there. You're closing one door. You're going into a new door. Okay? We have within the next few months. I mean, within the next few weeks. So in the next few weeks, it's up to you. There's a lot of change coming in. Okay? And I feel like in the next couple of weeks, you're going to know how you want to move forward. All right? Improving health. So that means for some of you guys, you're healing for sure. Okay? You're eating like eating better. You're like drinking better. Like you're doing a lot of things differently. You're improving your health. Okay? And we know when you eat good, drink good, stay healthy, that definitely does help with your intuition. Okay? Your gifts. All of that. All right? So let's pull a couple of spirit messages and then we'll talk about the extended reading. My Leos. This is the Divine Abundance Oracle. Messages for Leo. Alright, I'm not going to take all those. I'm just going to take two random messages, Leo. Don't be mad at me. I'm going to put the other two back. And we have Faith. And it says, Miraculous, Miraculously. Amazingly, everything I need always comes. Love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagined. All right? So have faith, Leo. Keep having faith. Trust. Remember, the card said anything you want is going to come to you. But you got to have trust. You got to have faith. All right? We have non-duality. Let your authentic hum humanity shine forth while also... Bowing in the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. Okay? So, just be you, Leo. Just be you. Be you. Be true. Be real. Be authentic to who you are and what you do. Okay? Let's see. I am using, this is the Creativity Oracle. Let's see, messages for my Leos. Overwhelm. The hard work we love can leave us feeling burdened, drained, and burnt out, among other problems. So, Leo, for some of you guys, you guys are just overwhelmed. Number 11. And I feel like you guys need to rest. You guys need to take a break. You're overwhelmed. Your hard work is going to pay off, Leo. It's going to pay off, okay? But don't leave yourself feeling drained, burning, burning, burnt out. And I'm definitely going to repeat that because I'm a Leo, like I said, and I know how I am. When I'm focused on something, I'm focused on something, okay? I will work myself from sun up to sundown, okay? So, Leo, do not burn yourself out, all right? Don't drain yourself. Don't burn yourself out. Save your energy. And we have confidence. Know and feel this affirmation beyond a doubt. I am all that I need to get what I want. Leo. And we have double sevens. 77. So I'm going to I'm gonna repeat that. I am all that I need to get what I want. Alright. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Alright, Leo. Let's talk about this extended reading. I'm in the extended. I'm going to take a deeper look into their feelings. 
I'm going to look into their current thoughts towards you, their current and future intentions. I'm going to see if this person really does want this relationship. And then I'm going to look into um, what is to happen next. All right. I may pull a blockage card. I'm not sure yet. All righty, Leo. That is your reading for the second half of April. I love you all. I hope to see you all in the extended. I will pin the link in the comments below. If not, I'll see you guys in the next upload, Leo. Sending love and light. Bye, Leo.